Hiya. One of the things that came out of the Winchcombe trip that we did was meeting up with Ken and John and their respective partners, uh, Nicola and Hella, and finding out changes that had been made to the vans. And as we know, everybody's van is their own personal thing, if you like, and everybody likes to make it their own. Um, Ken came up with a massively clever idea of how to save around about 230 quid if you're worried about whiffs from the toilet cassette. And John had made lots and lots of alterations and small changes to the van that made it more useful for them. And they've agreed to share what they've done with you. So here they are. So that's the vent, which is opened and closed like that. And if you pop that out, you can see the vent. And it operates by riding up on that um, riser at the back. And what Autosleep have failed to do was to drill a hole in the bottom of there. And there's a mark on it that shows you where it should have been drilled. So if you drill the hole, then it vents out to the outside. So what I've done is just taken a little piece of pipe. And that's, um, you know, the silicon, the silicon gun. Yes. Yeah. It happens to be exactly the same size as that and fits over it. So an old yeah. silicon pipe, cut it up and it fits over there. You just have trial and error, cut it to the right size. And it's just in a two bits of um, uh, perspex with a computer fan that just draws the air down and literally broke into it here. So I, I did solder it, did it properly, but just taped it over and just put a switch on the inside. Simple as. That fits on there. Sits on there. So now when you turn the fan on, it draws the air out of the tank and exits it under the van. Simple. Two pounds for the fan, three pounds for the switch, and it's done. Instead of two hundred and forty pounds for the SOG unit. And the other problem with the SOG unit is that when people see it, they won't park next to you. Doesn't think it stinks. <laughs> We're in a Winchcombe. Of all that, we've never. Been, I've never. Have you ever been in a Winchcombe? No, I've never been in one. Never no. been in one before. <laughs> this is John, um, of of Heather and John. Heather. Heather's hiding. Hello. There she is, that's Heather there. And this is a Winchcombe. We've all got Winchcombes, that's why we're in Winchcombe. It's the Winchcombe Weekend, organised by Ken. And John's been doing all kinds of changes to his Winchcombe, which perhaps Auto Sleeper needs to consider. Shall we start the front, John? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. So what we've got is the, the Mercedes uh, mats, which are the official mats cost about £40, I can't remember, but they do make quite a neat job. I've cut the carpet and put a strip in so that, uh, you know, we've got no trip overs on the carpet. It's so neat. Well, it really is neat. I think it works well. It, it works for us. Certainly when we're up in Spain this year, it, uh, it was a great uh, thing to have because it's just empty any sand straight out the window. Second thing in the front is uh, put a soft cover on the steering wheel. It was quite a hard job. It was about three hours to do it because I'm not a very good sewer. But um, yeah, that for me again, it makes the steering wheel just that much softer and, and uh, easier to drive. Well, those of us with delicate hands would appreciate that as, <laughs> uh, as I'm sure I do. What really strikes me as being clever is what you've done to the table. Because look, people... That boob thing that, that you put the stand in isn't where it was when you bought it. What are you doing? Well, what we've done is take it out the centre and just move it to one side. And for us, it, it's such a, a big improvement. Also, put a bit of a cover there to cover the holes. But, but look at the difference this makes, people. This is really, really clever. But what is it four inches five inches yeah not a lot at all and it's still very stable that's yes. the important thing look at that now there you are right up towards the back of the chairs and then turning around so for those of us that like to edit we can get it close and then around the breakfast position and yep. two people can be sat without 
getting their elbows all over everywhere. Indeed, it gives you much more room for, for eating, that's for sure. This is clever. <laughs> and, and yes, you can get in and out and two points of egress, yep. which is always good. Even I to get through there, I'm not gonna. <laughs> So just moving back, we've got for our, for our tea and coffee and uh, sugar, etc. Yes, you've, so you've taken the, the runners out. Taken the runner out, yeah, and yeah. just built a, a framework. Again, using the same bit of uh, woodwork that I got from B&Q, which is a good match for the, uh, for the winch gun. Oh, I didn't realise you've also got some, is that foam? It, it's a bit of foam down the side to allow it to go in because of this this piece here. Yeah. Ah, uh, see, that's clever. That that's that's they're just that's it. They're just not gonna. Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah. Uh, they're on a, a piece of hardboard or such. Ah, uh, clever. And and foam underneath. Yeah. Every cupboard that we've got is foam lined. Really? Yep. Oh. Uh, oh, you can't see in there very well. Uh, even, the, even these, so that, that's foam lined. That's, they're all foam lined. And that'll stop, the, stop the rattle. Yeah, yeah. Another thing that we've done is that goes up while we're travelling and as a clip goes around there, but when we're not travelling, that saves any water going over to your, your cushions when you're doing a bit of washing up. At this point, dear viewer, a red-faced div holds his hand up and says, I, I wet all over the cushions this morning <laughs> when I did a little bit of washing up. I'm pleased I've seen that. I'll have to have a go at that. So again, just to hold that up, we've got a simple clip that just looks a bit rubber, but that does the job. Uh -huh. yeah. So it doesn't rattle? Yes, that'll not rattle. The other thing we've done is we don't like the, the um, glass top, we can't see a point on it, so we've taken that out and I've got uh, a bit of foam there that holds that in, that gives you a nice space for your washing up liquid. You've thought this through haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> There's a few things that uh, we, we've certainly sorted out that's for sure. Right. So, ah, uh, now again I'm interested in this because this is the kind of stuff I'm looking at. That cupboard to me is a right faff. Look at that, an extra shelf makes all the difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It gives you that much more. Instead of piling things up, it uh, gives you so much more space. That's a ha ha ha. Look, 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 look. Yeah. I've seen that one. Yeah, it wasn't our, to be fair, that wasn't our idea, uh, but we'll pinch any good idea. So That's and, what this is about. Yeah, and it doesn't move at all. When we first bought it, it was flapping about all over the place. So, yeah. Yes, I think it's safe to say that on uh, on one of our videos, the uh, the oven door is flapping about in the mm. breeze as we drive down the road. Yeah, yeah. As, as happens, as happens. So that's yeah. where you put your kettle, is it? Yeah, we, we uh, that's our uh, tea and kettle and everything. Tea Very push. <laughs> that's, that's my clutter drawer where all the electronics go. Yes, I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a real good thing um, because we can just leave that up. You can, you can get stuff out there dead easy. Yes. Whereas before, you know, you're trying to get things and it's, it's pretty impossible, really. Right, now while we're in here, for those of you that don't have a winch gun, I want you to see this. Two six foot two blocks. <laughs> and there's room, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. There's we're not we're not room. being overly intimate. I just don't have a there we go. We're not being overly intimate. The camera is currently in the shower, which by the way is huge. And look at the room. Yeah, plenty of room. Two six foot two blocks, one of whom is over thirteen stone. You know where near as over as I am. How long have you had your winchkin? We have had it since October 2021. And it is now June 2022. Yeah, so what's that, nine months? Where, how many miles have you done in it? 4,250. Roughly speaking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thereabouts. Yeah. There or thereabouts. Um, aside from the changes you've made, which you must have made because of how you use the van yeah and to make it more you 
What do you reckon to these things? Well, I think the the industry in a whole is a, as a whole is a bit of a problem because mm. um, you know there are a lot of problems out there. I think Auto Sleep has I've done a good job. There's certainly a solid, everything solid, which is good. Yes. Um, there's always some improvements they could do. Yes. Um, we're, we're a bit concerned about the cushions, they're certainly snagging. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've not had that before. We've had nine caravans, uh, we've not had that before. We've had two, another two motorhomes. So, uh, yeah, that. Window slap shut. Yeah, things like the windows, the window stays, you know, for what the cost to do a proper job. It, it could be better but you know they're not cheap no um but yeah i mean it, it's our it's our leisure it's our holidays so yeah yeah we like it yeah. so marks out of ten well i'd say probably seven because the, you know there are some improvements they could do yes you know, if they did them at little cost that would benefit everybody I think yes the kitchen could be a bit well we've got loads of space and they could they could have a bit of an l-shaped kitchen so they're very traditional to sleeper um, and maybe they need to move forward a little bit I think I get that everybody's requirements are different yeah of course they are, yeah. I mean for me I would have a the other kind of fridge that will work off a battery and, and what have you because most of the time with a van like this I, I feel I like to be on a silver pitch Mm. you know um, makes such a difference so overall 7 out of 10 for the winch come for you that's grand yeah it, it, bearing in price uh, how much it costs yes um, I think there's a few improvements they could do yes at small cost to them that's that's all I'm saying yes um, yes build quality pretty good except for us from hmm? except for the from where we've had the problem well that's a different thing yeah, I don't yes I'm not yes. going to go into that but yeah Yes. Good. When you're travelling, do you get much rattle? Not a great deal. What we have to do is put a towel on the cooker lid. Uh, and Everybody has to do that with yeah, our cooker. Yeah. <laughs> That's standard. Everybody does mm. it. And as you know, we've lined every cupboard with with uh, uh, foam, um, which didn't cost a lot. Took a bit of work, but mm. uh, other than that, yeah, we don't get a great deal of rattles. That's for sure. Good. Good excellent stuff well thank you both for your time thank you for showing me the alterations you made so john and heather thank you very much for your time yeah thanks for coming and taking the interest so there you are things you can do with your winchcom and actually probably applicable to other marks as well certainly the i'm going to call it the ken minisog that's what I'm going to call it. The Ken Minisog idea would work for an awful lot of vans, I'm sure, as will a lot of what John and Heather have done with theirs. So thanks, Ken. Thanks, John. Thanks, Nicola. Thanks, Heather. Thank you so much for letting me uh, into your vans to, to see what was going on. And thanks also for the great company down in Winchcombe. So, uh, yes, to everybody else, thank you very much for watching. You know what to do. Enjoy the roads. Enjoy the skies, but most of all, enjoy your lives, because life rocks when your living room rolls. See you later. Bye.